Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, CLJK Bagsik. Again, CLJK Bagsik. Today, I'm going to make um, vanilla cheesecake. So For the base, I use digestive biscuits and butter cooled in the fridge for 4 hours. We have double cream, condensed milk, Philadelphia um, soft, soft cheese, gelatin, and vanilla. Again, gelatin, Philadelphia soft, soft cheese, condensed milk, and double cream. So this is the soft cheese in the bowl. I have to soften it. And then add the double cream. Vanilla Kind of put one teaspoon of vanilla Just like that Then the condensed milk Mix all the ingredients. This will take a bit of time. Again, friends and families and ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, you can use any ingredients you like, any brands, because this is my um, preferences, these are my options. So any soft cheese you can use any um, vanilla you can use um, any condensed milk that is available in the market so I'm using um, these ones because these are the ones that are um, available in the UK for my preferences so you can choose whatever brands whatever um, is available in the market so we have to to stir or mix all the ingredients and until it's like uh, looks like smooth make sure there's no lumps there's no bubbles in it this time I'm just using the, the spoon and then if you have an electric mixer you can use that but in a slow mode
to use the whisk to get rid of the lumps for a smoother cheesecake. Whisk, 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 whisk. And I think this one will be ready sooner than later. Wow, it looks beautiful. More whisk. More whisk. And soon the lamps will be found. Whisk, whisk, please. Okay, I think our cheesecake is ready. Not yet ready, I mean. The topping will be ready sooner before you know it. For our gelatin, we have the cooled boiled water. So be careful not to burn yourself. So we have the gelatin. That's the first sachet. So I'm going to use um, two sachets of gelatin. So for the first sachet, we have to pour it um, slowly while co continue um, stirring it. You have to get rid of the lumps. Stir, stir, stir until you pour everything from the sachet. But I said um, continue stirring it. Now we have to put the second sachet, stir, stir, stir. More stir. Until it's done, until it's completely soft, lump free, and your jelly is ready. Call it jelly, some people call it gelatin. You can call whatever you like it. Gelatin is almost ready. Now, once it's ready, wait, wait, stir, and stir. Well, I think it's ready. In three, two, one. Not yet. Three, two, one. Ready? Hooray! And now it's ready. So the next step is well, we have to whisk again our cheesecake and put the gelatin into the mix. Continue whisking it. making sure that the gelatin is mixing well with our mixture a few minutes this will be ready
mixture is now ready let's move it on the side and now the base in the middle so this is the digestives with butter and we have to pour the um, mixture on top of it slowly but surely I just filled it at least three quarters full now it's ready to go in the fridge for four hours and after four hours my homemade cheesecake looks beautiful I think it's yummy Charan cheesecake homemade vanilla cheesecake